heading to Jamaica. All four of us. Our parents already board the plane already. So yes, guys, we're heading to Jamaica. It's not all fun. Um, we lost our grandfather on the 27th of May. My dad's dad. So I was gonna go to Jamaica anyways in July, but now I have to change until June. So today is the 20th of June, and we're heading to Jamaica. Yeah. So we have funerals to go and everything, but you know, I have to vlog because I'm going to Jamaica. Whether it's happy time or sad times, right? So yeah, we're about to board this plane. Jakey in the bag. He hasn't been to Jamaica two years now. Almost three years, I may say. The last time he went was 2018 for my wedding. And it's almost three years. So yeah guys, we're about to board this place. I'm happy to be vlogging again. You know, you guys know I love to vlog. And hello, Larry. <laughs> you guys know I love to vlog. So it's gonna be lit out here. We're gonna have an amazing time this time around. So we're gonna make up for all the, the weeks, the days we miss uploading. And yeah, so just stick around guys. I know Jamaica is on the curfew today is Sunday. So two o'clock curfew better reach Jamaica everywhere luck. But we're going. We are going. Alright guys. Once I get situated. Once I get situated, I'll be back. Hey guys, look who's here! Go on, go on, no Smith Nation. Yes, yeah, so BJ there, I put on pictures on the shirt. As I told you guys before, my grandfather passed away, and today is the memorial service because we're not having a burial. He's been cremated and we're just going to do a memorial service. So yeah, we have a business place in a kind of Mexico, you know? But they're on the printer area. So we're not so messy. But yeah guys. Wagwan, well, we never get to come back to no yesterday because the traveling was so exciting and frustrating and my just did feel miserable I just want to reach my yard What's the boy so, never, I don't know if I just wait till mommy come because all our shirt is so come to so yeah guys the attire is t-shirt and jeans I just have on the top of it now just 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 Tony so, yeah, but they're not the far but I don't know what we extra shirt for because all our shirt is a come to Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is what's happening right about now. We are wait. May I talk to the camera? <laughs> May I wait for my parents? Um, just put on the shirt and it will place her like a fire. Welcome to Jamaica. No, so why are you so ready to shoot this camera? Yeah. So we're going to the funeral today. I don't know. I guess I own. Hmm? It's okay. <laughs> so we said, well, we, we said yes, but what are we going to do? Can't do nothing. Yeah. In a ferial and until we go up at the house, which I don't want to go up there because I feel like I just a mega ball. Yeah, we use yeah we use we use to him for the and then he's very rich. All right, at the shop this so going up there now. That's gonna be the hardest part for me. Well, I cried. I cried twice. 
But if I go, go up there now, right now, see, sit down and you shall spot. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be real that time. Even though we see pictures, we are print pictures, we are do this, we are do that, we know, we know. Funny. Well, this, is, this is my first death experience. And we know, we know, lose nobody, thank God. My aunts, uncles, other grandparents are alive. And so on, so we never really lose nobody. Anyway, that's it today. So, can show you guys some of what's taking place today because, as I said before, it's not an actual burial. So, yeah, we have a cool up before we put on the shirt as well. God, no. is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff will comfort me Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup and it over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Let's bow our heads. Even now, let's tell the world. Let us pray. For loving God. Our Father who art in heaven. Again, we come before your presence today, all because of your love and your mercy towards us that has kept us through over the night. You woke us up this morning, we are in a right frame of mind, and we are here this morning to share in this special comfort. One day, Father, that sometimes we do regret coming to the death or burial of someone through God because of sin. Man will not live forever. But oh God, with that blessed hope that you have given us, although one has died, may live again. So continue to give us hope. Strengthen us where we are. Where we need to be encouraged, we pray that we be encouraged. Be with the family members, with the visitors, with the church family. Thank you for all that you have done and all that you'll be doing for us now, as we tell you for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before you sit, we sing the hymn, How Cheering is the Christian Hope. I'm figuring that uh, when we have enough church people here, we should know that again. And if you uh, can't sing, but you can make a joyful noise, that is accepted too. <laughs> so those who can't sing, those who can sing, we'll have to drown out the ones who can't sing. Uh, we we'll begin after two. One, two. How cheering is the Christian hope, my darling baby. Our most members of the Colgate Church, uh, of which Sister Doyle, or Sister Panji, is a member. It's good to be sharing with you today in this solemn sacred service as we honor the life and the memory rather of Mr. Llewellyn and also more important as I've said we give God thanks for the life that he has lived. So even as you've come to reflect on him I pray that our sights will be turned not on him but to Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So I was reliably uh, informed that um, Mr. Leland was a man of principle. He was a man who was a straight talker. He didn't hide you know, his thoughts. And so, even so, we don't expect anybody to come up here and, and talk any crazy things. <laughs> but to say the things that are true, somebody say amen. 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 Say the things that uh, the Lord would be pleased uh, with. So before going further, I want to share with you from the Word of God in 1 Thessalonians 2, chapter 4. Mm -hmm. 
Good morning. He attended the Kabla Camp Agriculture in school in Manchester. There he learned many skills to prepare him for the world of work. His main choice was plumbing. When he left Kabla Camp, he went his first job was to work with one Mr. Sidney Lamy in those days in St. Anne's Bay as a storeroom supervisor. Next, he left and went to Guantanamo Bay, naval base over in Cuba for over 15 years at the naval base. Still a young man, when he returned, when he came back to Jamaica now, he went into the hotel industry. He worked at the Jamaica Grand in Ocherius. That was the name of that hotel. If it has been changed, I think yeah, it's um, New Moon, uh, Moon Palace. Whatever. Palace. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> the Lord. Then back in the agricultural society for a short time, he did that satisfied. He was always on the move. And everything he did, he put his hand to, he was successful. So it keep him, give him a drive to go on. That's right. Yes. So he went into small farming. He planted all sorts of crops. Reared animals such as rabbit, chicken, cow, pig, goat, bird, goat, dog, everything you could find. And when the children came around him because of the animals, especially the boy children, they always want to stay with Mars Neville because of the animals that he reared. In the way, upon a turkey. In the way, upon a turkey. Up to his later <laughs> years, he helped his wife in their small business in the grocery shop. So he was also a businessman of his own. On some Fridays, Albert would cook soup, fried chicken, pork. And the pork. Can and his pork customers in? would come and pork look sweet. forward to buy his tasty food. Albert was a firm, disappear, disciplinary man. Mm -hmm. He is no longer <laughs> with us, but we will always, he will always be remembered for his kind words and deeds. He will be remembered by his dear wife, Miss Fanzi, his children, grandchildren, his adopted daughter, ben Benita, and his granddaughter Jada, who loved them dearly as his own children. And his survivor sisters, brothers, nieces, nephews, and other relatives and friends. May his soul rest in Amen. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. Albert Vincent Loelin, born May 13, 1942, to his deceased parents, Doris and Percival Loelin. He was one of the eldest son who has now gone to rest. Nevi, affectionately known to everyone in his community, was a steward to every trade, a carpenter, a builder, a farmer, a chef, a father, and a husband. If you had known him in his earlier years, you'd have known that you had 
that you can uh, <laughs> is always in the kitchen preparing a meal no matter who may come by there is always a smile greeting you with a open heart and asking how is everyone is doing mm -hmm. as a stepfather to me in the early years when returning from Guantanamo Bay Cuba a soldier Uncle Nevi, handsome family man, caring, he would ensure his parents were okay and that his family was taken care of. Following the footsteps of his, of his father, he did anything he could to provide for his family. As you hear before, raise the animal. We talk about the chicken. We talk about planting food, etc. In his early years, he got married to Carmen Harris. Where together they proceed two children, Devon and Brenda. I can also put in myself. Years later, he married Anderson, Marie Anderson Lowell. Where together they raised adopted daughter Benita and granddaughter Jada. As a stepchild, I grew up to admire him as a father figure. He taught me just about everything a father would want for their child. Cooking, cleaning, washing, setting the table, making the bed once you get up off it, mm -hmm. sweeping up the yard, etc. You can I don't know who wants to give a mm -hmm. for that one, but I sure I can. Some of, some of my fondest years consist of him in the kitchen. A cigarette in the corner here of the mouth <laughs> preparing the meal let's talk about the soup mm. the curry goat <laughs> the roast beef not to mention the pork <laughs> <laughs> sipping a drink as well i can tell you he was that man neville was a genuine friend a brother a father a uncle in his own ways. His siblings, nieces, nephews, own attesto, own compassionate. He was a love by everyone. Children, De Dion, Devon, and spouse K, Brenda, spouse Garfield, Nadine, Avril, grandchildren, mm -hmm. Tasha Gay, Rodena, Sanchia, Daquan, Sashin, Orlando James, Kenita Thomas, mm -hmm. Shamar Wright, and Amika Oilet. They leave behind two sisters, Beverly and Elsie, three brothers, Rollin, Bernard, and Andrew, mm -hmm. and wife Anna. They're solely, surely mistake. Mm -hmm. They sold. Rest in peace.
Hey guys, um, I'm about to wrap up this vlog. I know I said piece of piece, so just bear with me, please. <laughs> you know, it's been just a hectic, hectic few days here in Jamaica, and um, the memorial went well. You know, it, I think reality really hits now, and I know he, my grandfather is gone. And we just have to move on. So right about now, I'm about to head to the office. I did, I did a whole thing where I have like a new part that I'm selling gadgets and stuff, which I'll show you guys before I close out the video. Um, BJ, the day with me right now. I'm gone in a Burger King. So yeah, I just want to close the video off so I can get into the groove of vlogging for you guys and um yeah <laughs> yo make it out to the like, place hot like i have to take my wig off i definitely have to take my wig off the wig just can't wear at night time or when we are after dress up for go somewhere but it can't wear straight can't manage it when i couldn't tell me so jamaica act when i couldn't tell me so jamaica act so guys, yes, this is my new thing now. Instead of wearing mask, I just wear this. And I'm also going to stock them in the business place also. Um, right now I'm selling like tablets and phone cases and earpod cases and fire sticks and uh, any other little thing, you know. I just say, you know what, let's just start to try to sell gadgets and because we have the space. And you know Jamaicans, them love them gadgets. Them love, them just love to buy them gadgets. Yeah. Um. But overall, Jamaica is okay. I'm happy that I'm here as always. And there's a lot of things in store. A lot of collabs. A lot of um, excitement. I had a whole thing planned. Still, still have it planned. But because I have to come, I had to come here for the the memorial two weeks before. I planned on coming but I'm going to get into the groove of pushing these videos out guys I'm so sorry I took a break a month break because I wasn't getting the energy and the feedback that I wanted and I'm like you know what I'm just going to take a break from vlogging but this is something I love I don't do this to say go on, go on YouTube payroll or whatever I do it because I love it I'm always excited of um, filming or 
sketching clips of what I do when I'm in Jamaica. So, anyways, I'm just here to end the vlog, edit this so you guys can just see. Hope you guys appreciate it. I know it's pitchy patchy, but you know, I just have to put it together. I just have to put it together so you guys can see. So yeah. Um, I'm going to put in the clip as I said to let you guys see the office and what new venture we are in right now and as I said just check out SG designs and printing limited we have them good things here and many more and um, remember to like share subscribe if you want to subscribe <laughs> no big deal over here like share and subscribe and um, turn the post, post notification bell on and stay tuned for many more epic content because I have this whole trip planned out and it's a go work it's a go work you know um, yeah guys so see you in the next upload bye